We only have to look at the headlines over the course of a year to understand how climate and extreme events are, are shaping the region. Um, we've had lots of large wildfires in the last couple of years. Uh, we've had a severe drought in Southern Oregon and California. Uh, we've had uh, flooding. We had a big landslide up in Washington, the Oso landslide. Um, and, and these things all connect with people and, and natural resources in, in very real ways. So understanding how all of these uh, threats are changing and whether they're linked to human activity, the, the stuff we're putting in the atmosphere that makes the planet warmer, um, understanding how these threats might be dealt with, understanding where flood risks are increasing and where they're decreasing, where wildfire risks are increasing and how much, how effective it might be to thin forests to reduce fire risk. These are all real world questions that um, scientific research can address and that uh, people are, are really wanting the answers to. One of the things that I've enjoyed being involved in for the last uh, 10 or 15, really 15 years, has been writing assessment reports. So scientists publish papers, and, and each of those papers is like a brick. And sometimes you look at a pile of bricks and you say, what do I really understand about this problem? What do we really know about climate change? And the function of an assessment report is to look at the pile of bricks and to try to build a building out of it. And there may be some bricks that don't fit, and you say, well, you know, there's this paper over here that found something completely different, and we need to understand why the, the findings were different from, from the others and, and note it. And so with all of these, we're trying to collect the scientific information and present it in a, in a way that, that sort of makes sense and hangs together. And I've been very pleased to be uh, working with a lot of great people at OSU and also at other universities, University of Idaho, University of Oregon, Portland State, University of Washington. Um, and also our colleagues at Oxford and the Met Office in the UK. And, and none of what we've accomplished uh, would have been possible if we were trying to do it in isolation. We do it as a team and we're very collaborative and, um, and we take pride in doing good research and, and connecting it with real world problems.